Hi, this is Dr. Jeff Hanna at Atlas Chiropractic in North Lakes, Brisbane. This is the seventh and final part on our discussion of stress and the effect on the body and what the role of the upper neck is. So if you've made it this far in the series, this is basically a summary and thank you for watching all of the other videos. What I want to address is a follow-up from what we talked about in the previous video, which was identifying as best as possible the sources of stress in your life. Certainly we can't change them all, but by doing the best that we can, that will help us to better manage stress in our day-to-day -day life so that we just don't default and cause everything to go out. But the second part that I want to address is the part that about 95% of the population actually forgets. And what is that connection? It's simply put, it's the upper neck. It's the importance of getting a person's body and spine checked to be certain that the connection between the brain and the rest of the body is flowing, working the way that it should be so that you have the best possible chance to be well and to stay well. So upper cervical care, it's not about neck pain. It's not about low back pain. It's not about pain or anything in the bottom. It's about seeing the full expression of the way that the body is supposed to work in the first place. And in that is its ability to handle and to manage stress. We in our day-to-day -day lives can be one of two people here. We can be either this person on the left or this person here on the right. The gist of this image here is that the measurement we're seeing should be balanced on both sides. The person on the right represents the ideal. This is a person where their body in that moment in time, it's having to process and deal with more stress. The question is, does it have the resources and does it have the ability to properly manage that stress or not? And that's the difference then between the person who is exposed to stress, physical, chemical, mental, and their body's able to successfully deal with it, versus the person who is struggling, their body is not able to deal with it, and as a result, they start to go into a downward slide as far as their health is concerned, which may not completely manifest for years, even decades after these events are starting. And so what are we trying to do and why do we believe so strongly in the power of upper cervical care? It's because we know that this is the connection that helps us to be as alive and well as possible and not something to be overlooked. I do believe it very much that one of the biggest reasons why people by and large in our society are not as well as they would like to be is because they believe mistakenly that upper cervical chiropractic care is optional. And what I'm saying is that if a person wants to be at their true potential, the fact that you are having this clear brain to body communication, that is not an option. That is a fundamental component, just as important as diet, as air, and as water. So I hope that you've enjoyed these video series on stress and the connection with the upper neck and the importance of what it is that we're trying to do to help out and make a better world for everybody. This is Dr. Jeff at Atlas Chiropractic, restoring the cause of health from above, down, and inside out.